Mm-hmm. You have any children? Mm-hmm. If you have it, you have any children? Mm-hmm. Oh, me? Mm-hmm. No, no, no children. No, no, no. How come? Oh, you mean how come? They have a man feeling me a pity. Not now, before. No. Alright, so guys, we are in the peaceful community of Bull Bay, St. Andrew. Now, this lady that I'm going to visit, um, she was a part of the Windrush um, generation. Um, the Windrush generation um, took place um, sometime in Jamaica where the, a boat come down and they just took up a handful of people and uh, shipped them off to England and allowed them to work. No, you know, when restrictions take you and they're not real immigrants of the country, then they're going to deport you. You understand? So, she was a part of that generation. Now, guys, we're going to find out her little story. And I have a narrator here. Um, she's going to carry us through um, this, this whole program here. And while she carries us through, um, I'm going to draw her. And at the end of the session, you know what? She gets the drawing. So I want you guys to just listen carefully, listen as she tell us her story. And I hope you guys don't forget to what? Subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. You know what I mean? Get this thing to a thousand likes. You know what I mean? And put your comments in the comment section. And enjoy the video guys. And just follow me on the journey. Alright? Alright guys. So we are inside. And we are inside the house of Miss Irene Green and we're gonna find out some information from her now guys she is 90 years old 90 years old I'm telling you that's a big milestone and guys I want you to take a look at her um, she's still beautiful 90 and still going strong 90 hey Miss Irene how you doing how you doing today yeah, I do not more basic, that's all. No, I do not more? Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, anyway. So, how was the breakfast? Are you leaving for me to eat after everything already? Breakfast. Mm -hmm. I don't eat no breakfast yet. You don't eat no breakfast yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so your husband is inside. Mm -hmm. How is he doing? Mm -hmm. Husband alright? Yeah, alright. Okay, alright. Not, not doing. Not doing. Still strong and up already. Mm. So him eating breakfast already? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Him not eating. Him not eating. Okay, alright. So, um, your narrator to ask you a few questions. Meanwhile, I do a nice little portrait of you. And guys, as I told you before, Miss Irene was a part of the Winrus generation. Now she's gonna tell us what that experience was and how is it as a Jamaican living in England at the time? And all, all life story basically. And I hope you guys just take out your books and your pens and just write down this information. This is quality information here guys. So just stay tuned while we get into more of this video. Alright? Alright guys, so I'm gonna start a drawing now. And as I said before, the narrator, she's going to ask her a few questions um, because she's a, a little bit more familiar with her. And as you have seen the previous videos, the seat that normally get a beautiful drawing. So I have a, my sketchbook here and my tools and I'm ready. So guys, just pay attention and enjoy this program, alright? Cool. Alright, so you remember which year you went to England? Hmm? You remember which year you went to England? Oh, long was the England. Which year? Which year did you go? 
You remember? I don't know. So, how long did it stay? I stayed at love. I England. I did send me out. The government sent me home. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're not doing the work. Oh, so when you finish working, they send you home? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what kind of work did you do? Yeah, you have to tell you why I went home. Mm -hmm. I did everything what they want. I mean, they call on. Mm -hmm. They don't no call on nobody yet beside me. They call me to the work good. Mm -hmm. I can't do it good. So that's why I send me home and say, I finish. Okay. And say, I finish work. Mm -hmm. And I must go home. Right, right. So, what about your family? Your parents and your sister. My parents, them did, did. But they had no parents. My, my parents, my mother, she died. Mm -hmm. When they died in England, and when they come out, they come very hard. Them very hard already. They have to stop my family, them very hard. And they go back. And after they go back, they send me back home. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So what about your brothers and your sisters? What do you remember about them? Oh. Your brothers and your sisters? Maybe that's the stuff and I don't know them. <laughs> that was Kathleen. Maybe they don't know them. They don't know what to tell 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 them. Like Randy and mm -hmm. Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Marty married. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to work with them. I'm not going to work with them. And then we come out. Come out from Jamaica. Find that. Come out. We come out and they were here. But me didn't care before. Before she died. You see. I went to reach her in the hospital. Then tell me if you go back home, mm -hmm. because my mother died. Okay, so you came out here to see her. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you... she died. Okay, so you talked to her and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to her after, after me see her already and we go back to England. Mm -hmm. And come back then. I come out then, mm -hmm. we have already. Okay. So what about your father? I don't know nothing about him. What kind of man was your father? I don't know what I need, but I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. But I don't know what I need. Alright. Because the guy in the land when we pick a bit, when we pick, when we, 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 Mm -hmm. Our young adult. And uh, uh, they are teenager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna give you guys a little feature of the Windrush generation. Now Miss Irene gave us some a little nugget of what really happened. But guys, um, this feature is going to give a little bit more detail of what the windrush was and the whole idea of it, right? So I want you guys to just stay tuned and listen to this feature and just see what you can learn so we can appreciate what we have now, alright? After World War II, Britain was faced with two challenges. A damaged infrastructure that needed immediate repair and laborers that were willing to do tedious work. Empire Windrush, the British ship, traveled to Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and Barbados. On June 22, 1948, the ship returned with some 500 passengers on board. Those who answered the call have since been classified as the Windrush generation.
The Windrush generation refers to Caribbean nationals who arrived in Great Britain as immigrants under the Immigration Act of 1948. This act granted the unskilled workers and some veterans from the islands entry into the country and British citizenship. Due to successful advertisement from the United Kingdom, thousands more, including Trinidadians and Barbadians, traveled with their children, no passport necessary, to Great Britain to work and begin a new life. So when you were a little girl growing up in Jamaica, you used to play and oh you and your friend in school. The time when I got school. When I got school. I got school and we left. And mm -hmm. then tell me what to come home. Mm -hmm. Then tell me home. And the government tell me home, you know. Mm -hmm. And we come home. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you used to go to school. And you have your slate. You remember the slate? Mm, the year. The slate. The year. The slate. Slate. Mm-hmm. Yes, we used to use slate. Mm-hmm. And then afterward, we used book. Okay, so what do you used to do with the slate? The write all kind of something. Mm-hmm. All kind of something write in a funny slate. And give to the government. Mm -hmm. And when the government took money, he said, I missed my army to go to go home. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the army do a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's why we here. So when you're younger, as a little girl, you used to play? You used to run? Of course. Mm -hmm. And then they put me around. Then that young top with my ram. Yeah, what do you used to do around? What, what kind of ramping? Any kind of ramping. Mm -hmm. Any one. You, 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 you put them fish down and you put them to turn up and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you play a teacher? Yeah. You play like you are the teacher? Yeah. Mm. I'm there, I'm there, the teacher. I'm mm. there, put them in. We switch that up. I'll sit down. Mm -hmm. So you used to get beaten? No. We never get them beaten. No. I'm telling you, I don't know if you get beaten. So your mother never beat you? My mother. Mm. If me do anything, she will beat me, yes. And when she ready to beat me, the runner. Mm -hmm. The runner and go hide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's tell all man to go look for me. Mm -hmm. That time she cool down. And then we pass me the top and so and then just see me. And for the after we went in a quick and called me down. And said we be cool down. Mm -hmm. be dinner. Okay. So when you go down and you eat your dinner, she never bother beat you? No, she don't beat me. Mm. Cause she cool down? She only say, go oh, and cool down. Mm. Cool down yourself. You say, cool down yourself. Mm. And have a good day for so. Mm -hmm. Alright. So your father never beat you neither? Mm-hmm. Mm. She's been there doing. So, your first marriage, you married first time to your first husband in England? No, I did, you say. Mm hmm. But when you did marry to him, you married to him from Jamaica or England? I was born in Bahia. Mm hmm. Married here and got in England. Okay. Mm hmm. So, what happened when he died? No, I'm going to make a work. Mm -hmm. it was so it does work, work, work. Yeah, they work, work, work until after they send me out. Mm -hmm. So my mother died. Mm -hmm. school. So you didn't do anything else? You didn't go to church in England or so? Yes, sometimes they go to church mm -hmm. and sometimes they don't. 
Okay. So how you meet your second husband now? How we meet him? Mm -hmm. I in England we meet him, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And come out here for me. We used to sit on a tree. Mm -hmm. Tree top. And uh, somebody come come with me near near team. Dalati, I think I dalati a bit punky, near punky. Yes, I you can be inside here. Near punky can be inside here. Anami, Anami. How was the treatment in England? Treatment good. So they treated you well as a Jamaican woman. Hmm? As a Jamaican woman in England, how they treat you? You make a woman? Yeah. You as a Jamaican woman, mm -hmm. when you live up there, mm -hmm. how they treat you? They treat me good. Mm -hmm. So they your treat, boss treat you good? They treat me bad. Mm -hmm. They treat me good. When they when they go for me, tell me to come home. All of them pick so. I say whoever send me home, I go. Mhm. Mm go to come home and see me. Yeah? Right. So you enjoy you enjoy your time. Mm -hmm. And you enjoy your work. Mm -hmm. Because Jamaica me from, so me have to come back to Jamaica. Right. So, Christian, um, you came back yeah, after Independence Day. Yeah, oh my God, my father, I go. I said, yeah, but I had to be a and he said, I was coming up to the because I hear my father. So, did you? I want to do, and we come back. Mm hmm Did you come back before Jamaica get independence? Mm hmm you come back before Jamaica get independence? Mm -hmm. Or after? I'm going to come back to independence. Come. Okay. And then it's the most come here. Mm -hmm. Miss Irene. All right, so guys, here I'm gonna show her a drawing now. Take a good look at it. Um, let me hold it up, and then I'm gonna create a scene where you guys can see it beside her to do the comparison. So here we go. I'll put on this charcoal here. Come on, guys, that. Oh. Charcoal. <laughs> You can't hold it. You can't hold it. Alright, come get this, come get this for photographer. Come get this beside you. Look look at the photo look at um Look at the one side of <laughs> oh God, I see it. Look <laughs> Oh Jesus. It's not nice. 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 It's Okay, you are welcome. I hold it, let's get a picture of it. Hold it up. Enough 
<laughs> All right, guys, I just want to say a big thank you for watching this episode of Can I Draw You? And I hope you guys learned something really, really important from this excursion. And I want you guys to continue to follow, continue to view what's happening and the artwork. Oh my God, Miss Irene was so thankful for this in a 90 year old lady, you understand? And the other episode you guys saw was a 91 years old lady and she really loved it. And this was her first experience actually as well, getting a portrait done of her. And she really, really enjoyed this really enjoy this guys and what i want you guys to do is continue to spread the movement um hit that subscription button that's your biggest support right there like the video and share it and comment let me know your thoughts let me know what you learned from this experience you understand guys and see you in the next video and i'm out <laughs>